My name is Matika Tahi. I am the Threatened Species Conservation Officer at the Vanuatu Environmental Science Society and a Dive Master Trainee at Big Blue. The Vanuatu Environmental Science Society is a non-governmental organization locally based here in Port Vila. Its purpose is to promote science in the field of uh, conservation, environmental protection and um, sustainable development. There are three areas that we, we focus on. It's threatened and endemic species, ecosystem protection, uh, education and awareness programs. We are the coordinator of the International Coastal Cleanup uh, in Vanuatu. So annually we uh, do beach cleanups uh, in September, collecting uh, debris uh, along the coast. And with the data that we have been collecting since um, 2015, it was uh, contributed to the plastic ban put out in 2017 and 2018. And we are still uh, continuing with the cleanups and we, uh, we, we are encouraging the communities and everyone to participate. So one of the projects that we've been working on um, really since we started is the dugong and seagrass conservation project of which we've had various sources of, of funding for but it's an ongoing um, theme that we want to keep going and keep working with um, as we uh, continue through the life of VESS. Um, the dugongs are really charismatic animals that people really enjoy um, seeing and interacting with. Um, one of the threats to dugongs that we have in Vanuatu is that inappropriate interactions or tourism interactions, particularly um, a thought that they might be problematic for, for dugongs. We're very lucky in Vanuatu. Um, we have we're on the very, very easterly um, edge of the dugong range. So um, we don't find dugongs in Fiji, for example, or Tonga or Samoa. So we're very lucky that we've got dugongs in Vanuatu and we have a reputation of having friendly dugongs. So quite often in other places, as soon as a dugong hears a boat or sees people, they swim away quickly. In Vanuatu, we're really lucky and that the dugongs aren't as concerned about being in the water with people. So um, you can have really amazing interactions, but we wanna make sure that the dugongs and the people interacting with them are safe. So this is why it, as part of our projects, we've developed the dugong um, guidelines. So guidelines for everybody to interact with dugongs. So it's not just tourism operators that are running a dugong tour, it's anybody that might come across a dugong in their daily lives or whilst they're visiting Vanuatu. So we want to make sure that people stay safe, but also the interaction is good for the dugongs as well. So we're, we're really grateful that Connect has chosen our dugong guidelines for um, one of their first animation projects. Connect Limited me approached me last year, uh, asking me if I make a hobby, if I make a work. First one project we me make them. We want a collaboration with them first. They ask them to me fly make them one a tukong. It hurt me from me me never look one tukong. Me no say say me got one ekala shape le me also one him. So me make say time say blow me make them also one three D character. I had to fly mas change shape plan the time. We work lo project up lo me no say say mas few months. Plant something we must change the same old scene. And then, and table we and table tap like it. Then we must start to evolve too much. So, we can see come on and table take come on realistic. We have cartoon. We have talk small. The fact that we can have animations in Bishlama that we can post on social media or show when we go to the communities, um, just having our in our toolkit um, will be really great. We don't really know how many dugongs there are in Vanuatu. There's probably a few hundred. We are very lucky to still have dugongs here and we wanna make sure that we have them many, many, many years and generations into the future um, because they are really quite amazing animals.